Being a great wig comes from getting the measurements right. So if your measurements are not right, trust me, honey, your wig is going to be too big or too small. Trust me, I've been there. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Gillian and I'm the owner of Gansy Fame. So if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for supporting us and being here to watch this video. Gansy Fame is um, a hair company. We make custom wigs and we sell main clashes. We sell starter kits for um, starting your own business or basically just making your wigs at home. We basically send you everything you need to make a wig from a stand to a mannequin head to thread to needles to pretty much everything okay so feel free to check out our website for those um for our custom made wigs um they are made based on our clients head measurements so that's why head measurements are so important i'm making this video to help you be able to make your own wigs at home if you want to make custom wigs this is the perfect way to make them i'm gonna um, show you guys how i take measurements on my head based on my head size how i take the measurements how i transfer them to my wig cap and how i make the wig it's not going to be detailed about how i make the wig it's more so about how you take your measurements and how you transfer them onto your wig cap getting a great wig comes from getting the measurements right so if your measurements are not right trust me honey your wig is going to be too big or too small trust me i've been there because when i started my wigs used to be too small or used to be too big and i don't want that because you don't want to make that kind of wig and send it to your clients and they're like oh my wig is too big or my wig is too small you don't want that so to be on the safe side request for your measurements and the guide i use for my measurements is right here i'm going to put a picture of the guide so I we use. actually have a measuring kit on our website it goes for $2.99 and basically what you get in the kit is the instructions and a measuring tape so we require our clients to have at least one in the household because when you order wigs from us we do expect to you to send us your measurements because yes we want to make a wig that fits your head so your grand aunt or your sister or your daughter can I say oh mommy can I wear your wig no it's not gonna fit because it was made customized to your head size okay guys so yeah let's get straight into the measurements I just took my wig off so um, this is the measuring kit you're gonna get. Um, this is a kit. So we're gonna just follow the instructions here and I'm gonna take the measurements and I'll pretty much write it down. So this is my tape that I'm gonna be using. Um, this tape is 40 inches long. You don't need too much because I don't think anyone's second friends of their hair is up to 40 inches. But nonetheless, so I just take the tape around my head. Take the tape around and kind of measure so right there so i can see the second frame of my head is 22 and a half inches and then the next we're gonna take is your forehead to the nape so that's from your forehead to the nape which is the back of your head so i'm gonna take the tape put it where you want the wig to start okay so i'm gonna put it right there and then i want my wig to end around here so I'm gonna take that. So mine is actually long. Mine is like 15 inches. So like I have like a medium sized head, I would say, or big head. Pretty much for closure wigs, I would say those two are the most important. The second front and the front nape. Um, but for frontals, you need your forehead because you want the wig to like fit snug and gluelessly. So I'm gonna do my ear to ear which is about 12 inches I'm take ear to ear over so i'm gonna take from my ear to my ear over i'm gonna measure that that's about 12 and a half and then also um i like to take the nape from one side to the other from nape to neck the nape of my neck so that's from here to here i would say about this about six inches so yeah pretty much that's how i take the measurements and i'm gonna go into the next clip which i filmed on another day <laughs> that's so don't get i'm confused if you see me wearing a different dress or um a different wig 
yeah it's another day i filmed this in two days so bear with me okay guys so yeah you're gonna see how i transfer these measurements onto that wig onto the wig cap and how i draw my grid lines thank you and i will see you in my next clip okay guys so now we're gonna transfer our measurements onto the wig cap so start with the second friends take your time and do this um i put around and then when i get it right um i push the cap down make sure i have it right where i want it to be and then i'm gonna move on to the next measurements um i do the front to nape and then i do the ear to ear over i did the other measurements too but off camera where the hairline starts in the frontal you place it where the cap starts because you want it to fit perfectly then i'm gonna make sure that the frontal lays flat in the back as you can see me doing i use my t-pins to adjust them and also guys when you get the starter kit from us for making wigs with they come with t-pins they come with a wig cap they come with all of the stuff you see me using here clips um hair pins all of that good stuff you're gonna get it once you get the wig making kit from us So I'm going to take my marker and outline the, the frontal line. Then I'm going to take my measuring tape, print it down as you see me doing. Then we're going to draw one inch space, spacing lines as you can see me doing. So just get your lines. They don't have to be perfect, but um, I do this. I don't know how to draw perfectly, but when I do this, it always works out perfectly every time. So if you have questions about any of this or any of our wigs, feel free to let me know in the description box down below. And we're just gonna keep doing this. Um, I draw the lines. Um, again, make sure you use measurements when you're making your wigs because it's a deal breaker, guys. For real so once i get my lines done i'm gonna take this the frontal off so you guys can see how the lines look they're not perfect but this is how i do it most of the time and it works for me so now we take it straight to the sewing machine um so for this wig i used 28 26 and 24 inch bundles three bundles and a frontal so i did not um need to double the webs at the start but I mean, it worked out pretty okay though, cause the bundles were perfect and they fit. They really, really came out perfect on the wig when I was done. So, but at some point I'm gonna double the wefts cause when I get towards the top and I have more hair, I have to try to make sure every, all the hair gets on the wig. Um, I'm just gonna keep doing this um, and I'll come back when I'm almost done. Okay guys, another tip that I like to use is when I get to the end of the weft when I'm sewing on the machine, I use the reverse stitch and I go back and then I cut the weft and then I come, I sew back forward and reverse again just so I make sure that um, my wefts are secure at the end. Here you see me doubling the wefts and if you want me to do a really in-depth video of, on how I double my wefts or how I make my wigs in general on a sewing machine, like a really, really detailed um video from like threading your needle to what kind of um, machine i use please do let me know one thing that i would remind i must mention guys is um i learned how to sew wigs on a sewing machine by myself no one taught me so please if there's some stuff like very specific details that i do not know how to explain i apologize because like i said i self-taught myself most of the things i know about wigs so i'm just here to share share the little knowledge that I know and hopefully can help someone out there to start a business or you know just help you make your own wigs at home hey ladies so if you need a custom wig made to fit your head size in any color that you want I'm the plug okay so just go on our website if you don't find an option that you want on there you can always DM us or send us a picture of what you want and we can make it happen for you okay we're here to make sure you guys have the dream hair you wanted even if you can't find it on any website 
anywhere okay so let us know whatever you want and we got you okay guys so once i was almost done i realized that my camera stopped recording when i was sewing down the frontal i sewed down the frontal with the sewing machine too and um i apologize that um i could not record this on here but like i said if you need a more detailed video do let me know so once again this is our queen unit eternal website under a summer rig collection um, again, I colored and styled this unit all by myself and thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.